Hello, my little munchkins, my little crones. Oh, hello, my little munchkins, my crones, and my sunflowers. How are you on this Back to Life Monday? I hope everything with you is wonderful, wonderful, and more wonderful. Um, the word of the week is for all six shedding and for everybody is what? Expectations. Great expect. Great expectations. Think big. And that way you won't think small. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead on and we're going to talk about um, um, Kylie Jenner. I'm going to do a quick reading on her because she's still in the news. Yes. I can't believe it. Her face. Mm -hmm. I mean, anyway, I just feel as though she maybe need to do what Black China did. Do your lips and let that stuff come out your face. That's what I'm doing. Let it come out. Let it come out. Just let it come out your face. Just let it just take a year and just let it come out. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, that's true. You know, um, just to give yourself a break from it. You know, you could go back to it, but give yourself a break. Now, um, really what I want to know, how is she dealing with this? Yes, that is a good I question. I mean, because she, she said that she thought that she was always attractive. She always thought of herself as cute. Just her lips. Somebody... Went to kiss her once and told her she had really small lips. Mm -hmm. And I guess she was like insecure every since. Yes. But she said outside of her lips, she was fine. She was fine. So I want to lay three cards. This isn't going to be a quick week. This is going to be a quick week, maybe 15, 20 minutes at best. I want to know about Kylie Jenner. I want to know how she's doing mentally. Okay. How she's coping with this because for her to be so vain, she's got to be feeling a way about this. Right? What do yes. you think, baby clone? Yes, I feel as though Kylie Jenner could be self-conscious because if uh. you're willing to make changes to yourself at a young age. At a young age. And then also talk about some of the regrets you have about those decisions. And now you have people critiquing your look. Mm. And she's hard. saying that if her daughter ever came to her at 19 or that age, she would be... I'm paraphrasing, mortified. So would I. If baby Crone came to me with that, I think she's beautiful. And I'm not saying that because she's my daughter. You know, I will tell baby Crone that she's thick. I don't lie because lies don't help. No, they don't. You got to tell the truth. And it's because I tell the truth. I keep her aware mm -hmm. of her diet. Not a diet. Eat what you want. Just be mindful. Yes, that's true. Calories. Yes, it's all about those calories. And getting the good exercise in. Yes, because if you can burn more than what you eat, you'll just be hungry again. So here it is. <laughs> okay. We see a sickle. Okay. We see a compass. Mm. Oh, oh, wow. Yes. Holly. <laughs> oh. Mm. Yeah. Well, yes. according to the cards, she feel horrible. We see a sickle. We see a compass that she's just, this is taking her out of her element. element and sweeping away and trying to fix it. Oh, oh. Mm. Well, question. I see this cutting away. What does that mean? mean could it be surgery like is she trying to fix it well i see sweeping it away but is that trying to yeah i think judgment we got judgment and so whenever whenever i see justice i'm sorry whenever i see justice i always think things are fair so i think she's probably getting fair counsel okay somebody is really gonna really Help her because I've heard plastic surgeons say she got the wrong thing. And no other plastic, you know the surgeon who did this. They got to be feeling horrible about right now. And if I was going to them and seeing this, I wouldn't. But I think that it explains like the water gets trapped up. It's whatever, whatever, whatever. But I definitely think that she might be getting some counseling. Also, I, I, I think that she's going to move on working with someone about correcting this or even thinking maybe she doesn't even want to get anymore. Fair enough. You know, yeah, because I see new beginnings. She could be maybe wanting even to take a, 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 um, a, a, 
black china space where just let it all come out okay. and start just do your lips or whatever that if she can do this but i'm wondering at this point her face is kind of different and i'm wondering does she have any surgery done to her face mm -hmm. it's hard question, to know yeah. but i definitely see new beginnings mm -hmm. i see working with someone about this and maybe she got two cuts maybe maybe i hope she doesn't Maybe just cutting away from that way of life for a while. Yeah, I, I don't know. But anyway, I see the compass. So emotionally, how is she doing? Financially, she's secure. You know she's secure. Here's another one. I'm going to take. Oh. So I think what I'm learning here, I think she realized that a lot of the money that she had, it wasn't worth it. It was worth it for, for then when she was young when she was young and now that she's older she understands that this wasn't a good idea this was not a good idea however she's not done because i do see the sweeping away of something see she's not done i think she's done with that i think that she's going to do something because she's kind of vain yeah See, I see another another knife, but this is a queen, a sword. So yeah, she's kind of vain. She ain't gonna just let that go like that. Yeah, again, I see another beginning. So one beginning is a thought. Like she's getting counseling. She's getting what is the right thing to do. Um, I think she's also maybe even considering just letting it come out for a while and going to um, incognito for a while. And then I do see her starting over again. I, I definitely see that. What do you think, baby Chrome? Yes, I do see that. Uh, or taking a new approach yes. to how she goes about her looks. Because, I mean, mm -hmm. as a Leo, I mean, besides the fact that she's a Leo, you can tell that she's very into beauty and yeah. how she looks. Very into it. Very stern. Very, like, straight on it. Humiliated. You see, she's got a lot of that fire mm -hmm. burning. Got to find a way to fix this. Yeah, my, she's got to find a way to fix my energy. To get, yeah. Get yeah. It's like, got to fix it. This has really mentally, it hurts her feelings, definitely. She understands when she did this, she was young. She yeah. was young. She was young, young, young. And now that she's older with a lot of money, she knows she's got to be careful because she knows running to the knife isn't the first thing you want to do. But... I'm wondering, has she been? Because her face seems, I don't know. I got to look at her again. I don't know. What do you think, baby Carl? Yes. Um, I, I was wondering, could her, the way her looks, okay, let me rephrase this. Could it be, my question is, could it be for Kylie Jenner that her looks are maybe affecting the way she gets attention from men? Because, you know. No. No, I, I definitely don't. I definitely don't. I think men take from her. I really do. And I think it's always people thinking they're getting something and getting away with it. At the end of the day, she's got a gorgeous body, even though she's dissatisfied with her breasts. And I'm sure this has got to be bothering her about her faith. But right now, I definitely see that this is somebody who think they're getting away with something. And maybe when she's young, she didn't think about the repercussions. You know, but now she realized she didn't get away from anything. She made the situation worse. She just wanted to enhance. She just wanted to be beautiful, just like her sister, you know, um, you know, and at the end of the day, she got away with nothing. Yeah. You understand? So she's still dealing. And all of all of these cuts and knives, it makes me wonder. It's got to be. She's so young. She but is. you know what I think happened is this. When you're young, you're pliable. Mm -hmm. But I, even though Baby Crone, she's a little older than you. But even though her and Baby Crone are in the same age group. Yes. I feel as though Baby Crone is getting away from the baby look. I am. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. she's, she's starting to look more like an adult. Her body is starting to... Lucy goosey you know where you gotta work out mm -hmm. you understand and i think th that 
when you get a certain age, like 25, your body going through another change. Yes. Now I understand it's like every seven to eight years, your body going through another change. And I think that she's shedding off all of the babiness and going into her adult look. Yes. And that's where I feel as though the shifting of it. So the best thing is to do is to let all of it come out, mm -hmm. let the drainage or get it removed. And that could be the surgery we see. That's the surgery. Yeah, I think she's going to have it removed like Black China. Okay. Have it removed as much as they can do. Let it heal and then start over with something else. Okay. That's what I think. But I do think that she's in the process of letting it be dissolved. I have no idea. But when I see this card, it lets me know this is somebody who learned a lot. And is she humiliated? Yes, this is a lot of water. This is a fish. This is cards. You know, she's not a kid. Mm -hmm. These things she started when she was a child. Yes. She's not a child anymore. She's the great queen with money. Mm -hmm. Moolah, baby. She's with money now. So she doesn't think like a kid. She has kids. And she realizes the things that she did when she was a kid, she realizes it was she was too young. Yes. And, and and in a way, you have to resent her mother for a lot of this. Her service. father didn't want it. Bruce at the time, his name was, did not want it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he had no sway. Chris ruled the goose, right? So, um, yeah, I think right now this is an emotional time for her. Um, when she said, when she think of her, she just her daughter doing this, it gives her the shivers. It's like, oh, my God, not good shivers. The blue, like the one where somebody walked across your grave. Ooh, not the good ones where you're like, ooh, that feels good. Not that one. Okay. All right, go ahead. Do you um, have another question? Mm -hmm. My question is... Is Kylie competing with her siblings? Is she competing with? Um, I see the six, and the six is moving on. However, when I do see it's moving on, it could have been a time where she was. It could have been a time, but she realizes my sister's older than me. Mm -hmm. All of my sisters. She's a baby. Yes. She's the baby of the baby. And I think that's moving on, understanding I'm a mother, moving on, changing a, a lot of the way she's feeling. Because I think doing this has walled her in. I think by her starting this stuff so young, it put her in a perpetual state of constantly doing it. Yeah. Because when you do it, when it wears off, you do see it. Yes. Because I, I got it done a lot. But I'm just starting to say, well, you know what? I'm going to have to start doing this like every other month. And that's when I said, you know what? I got to come back down to who I am and start all over again. You know, I don't have the money like, well, I shouldn't say that. The money to go and have it extracted. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would do it. It's just easy. Just not do it for a while. Yeah, Take great. a year off like I did. Take a year off. Give yourself a break from it because you do hear things about it. And I don't want to talk about something that I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm all familiar with this. Fillers and Botox, believe me. But I didn't start mine until I was older. So, you know, when I was in my 40s, my my mid 40s, I started doing this and I didn't even need it. When I think about it then, I'm like, oh, my God. But mm -hmm. that, that's why I think a part of me have a little sympathy for her because you don't know no better. Mm -hmm. You just see your skin aging and go, oh, my God. And she just started out fixing her lips. Yes. And it just. You fix your lips, you fix that. You fix that, you you fix my eyes, and then you'll see they droop. You fix the droop, and then you'll see this. It's always something to keep you from getting a shot of that youth. And here she has nothing but youth, mm -hmm. right? Yes. My last question, I was yes. thinking about this. Could she be thinking about her health in trying to be there for her children? Because if you think about it, doing all this surgery and getting... But we don't injected. know if she's getting surgery. We don't know that. No, but 
going under to get all these procedures. Well, see, when you go and get this done, they do this wrong. Okay. When I get Botox, some places numb you, some places rub some skin with some numbing cream, but overall, where I go, poop, 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 you feel like a pinball. You can feel it popping in your skin like, <laughs> and they go here, 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 wherever you want it. All of this, before you know it, you done gotten like 10, 15 shots on your forehead. You done gotten shots all up and down here. Now, when they do around the mouth or the lips, they numb that. But outside of that, they push that stuff right up in there. Oh, I sound like somebody know what they're talking about. Yes, it's painful, but it's it's painful, but because you want it, you don't look at the pain. Yeah, that's true. I want it, so I know that comes with the territory. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay, another way to rephrase my question is Did I answer that I didn't answer? You kind of sort of ask sorta. it again in another way. Yes, another way to look at it. Could could Kylie have had maybe a health scare with getting these injections? And maybe that's why she the only health scare Kylie gets is that this has aged her before okay. her time. There is nothing that they say about getting, as a matter of fact, Botox are help for people who suffer from migraine headache. That is true. That so is it true. comes with good benefits, but it's not meant for somebody 25, 24. You're not there yet. I get it. You want your lips. You don't need that right now. You keep living. You don't need it, but not right now. And, and now it's like her and Kim, they got, and Chloe got this funny looking like a joker mouth Jeez. while the rest of them look stink faced. They do look like their nose is turned up. Kim mm -hmm. has it. Yes. And Ka they have it. They, they, would you agree? Yes, I definitely agree on that. I even think the oldest girl have it a little bit. Yeah. Where they got they like they looking up at you, you know? Yeah. So you're asking, did she what? Do have you? a health scare. I don't think no. Okay. No, because I was feeling strongly about that. No. I don't think it's a health care screen. But is it an ego thing? Yes. Ooh, two tens. This is two tens. Yeah, side by side. Yeah. I think it's an ego thing. It's about money. It's about her modeling. It's about her selling her products. It's about money. This is about money and ego. This is like, I got to sell my products and she's too far in now. So we know that she's going to go under, get some work done. She has to. Or else she, remember the Kardashians, they're supposed to be the most beautiful girl in the world that nobody models for them. They're their own models yes. for their own products. Mm hmm Am I right? Well, except Kim does get people for her skin. Growing. Kim model for Kim. That is true. In the advertisements. Kim models for Kim. She has some people there. But Kim said, I'll save a buck and model me. I will do it. Live her dreams of being a model. She will do it. Kim is very seldom. Kim has something. But the only reason why she had it for Kim is because she wanted to show the array of colors. That, okay, that is of true. the bodies of what it can come into. Okay, right, right. but outside of that, Kim do her own modeling. So true. does um Chloe. I mean Courtney, Courtney and Kylie. Kylie. They do their own, so they save money. Remember, they the most beautiful girl in the world, and to see them cracking, yeah, you know that uh um. Courtney, Chloe, she suffered with skin cancer. She gets constantly checked. Yes. Chloe, Courtney, she's going through this thing with Justin Bieber and the baby. I don't know what that would do. That would affect my marriage. Yeah, I right. wonder if they're having problems in their marriage because that would affect me. And then you have Kim. I don't know, Kim. She's with the guy. I don't know. I haven't been watching them. I haven't. I did this reading is on Chloe, Courtney, Kylie. Kylie, and Kylie is this is about money. This is about making money. This is all about her money. And this has affected her image. And and so if it affects her image, then it affects her pockets. Yeah, that's true. So I definitely see her working on it. But at the end, is, is she going to be okay with this? Yep. You see, she's looking out there for more revenue. What else can she buy? What else can she get us teeth into? Yes. You know, where they ain't got to see my face. 
Fair enough. Where, where, let me go and let me do where somebody else can be the face or just where they don't have to see me until she get this thing organized. That is what I see. But overall, this is not a bad reading, but I do think that she is definitely working on this. This has really rattled her. She is very concerned and she's insecure about it. She, We will never know. Maybe when they come back on, they'll touch it. But she understands what they'll touch on this topic. This is a big topic. And like I said, just looking at her sisters, looking at Kim being a hero. Many of them looked at Kim as a hero and followed suit. And, um, and doing it too young, she doesn't want this for her child. So she's sweeping away a lot of the old, a yes. lot of the old things, a lot of the old things, cutting away a lot. And it's nothing she could do about it, but she's in, she's a celeb. She's famous and she's famous for her looks. So it's no way she can sit down. She's going to do something about it. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this reading on yes. the Kylie. aftermath of Kylie Jenner, the yes. aftermask. Yes, the aftermask. That's what we're going to call yes. it. Yes. The aftermask of Kylie Jenner. What has become of her? Humiliated, embarrassed, but she is fixing it, getting counsel. She is working on it, but this time it's not leaping in it because she knows now, you know, her skin is changed. She's changing. So we seeing pockets and it's like, mm -mm, this is not good. It's ruining her product and this cannot be. So she's working on it. Believe that. And don't be surprised when you look around, you have a new Kylie Jenner. Yes. And with that being said, what we said, sunflowers. sunflowers.